Hey! Don't be like that. Hey! Okay, we're gonna have to have somebody put into time out. Hey everybody, it's Phoenix Jira, and we are still on day one with the chicks. Believe it or not, I've taken so many videos. I'm gonna try to compile them into one, but it might be two or three or 17. I don't know, they're just so freaking cute right now. They're fuzzy and curious and running all over the place. I have one that is so anxious to get out of this box. Whenever she sees me, she lifts her chin up and she's like, hey, and then she ends up trampling over the others. So <laughs> not sure about that. Anyway, so I will continue to take videos because what else am I gonna do? They're so adorable. Totes adorbs. First little batch of shavings to kind of get them used to it. As soon as I started dumping it in there, the little black star came running out. What are you going to give us to eat? Well, look at all that stuff flying through the air that I can't see with my eye, but I can see in the camera. That's from the shavings. And these are uh, pine shavings. Just a medium size so that, I mean, yeah, they're gonna peck at it, but hopefully they won't be able to eat it. No. Oh, hi. Um, so you're gonna eat my phone, huh? Well, that's kind of rude. How are you doing? Huh? How are you? Oh, you wanna, you wanna take a look, huh? We're drinking. I love seeing that. Drink, drink, drink. There you go. Good girls. And over here we're eating. One of them is. So far, the Bard Plymouth Rock have been the most exhausted of this adventure. They are just pooped beyond words. And I check on them and like, okay, are you breathing? You know, you don't, you, you can eat when I'm not out here, right? You know that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, and you? You too. I think it's this one. See how it keeps putting its neck up as high as it can? Oh, I'm, excuse me. Mm-hmm. You. I think you're the noisy one. I do. I think it is you. I think you're the one that keeps calling me out here. For what reason, I don't know, because your food is right here. Just, just want attention. Oh, and there's another one, hi. They look, they're twinsies. The little black star is very, very active. Here's Spitfire. Oh, hello. Very interested in the phone. Probably want to get on it. They probably think, oh, look, there's a perch. If I put the phone in here, well, first of all, it would be ruined. That would be bad. Mm, she's not moving very much. She's really tired. Hopefully, she's just tired. I hope that's all. I'm just being a worry wart, I hope. Do you hear that? I come inside for a couple of minutes and at least one of them goes completely bonkers. Plymouth Rocks are out here and moving around. That makes me happy. Was, they were just sleeping, but it was just still shocking to see them just like completely flat, like they're dead. See what happens? I go inside. I had to go inside and vacuum. So that was what? Maybe 10 minutes. But I go inside for a couple of minutes and one of them, and I think it's like little Miss Houdini, 
uh, it starts chirping her little head off. I think it's that one, but look, they're really going to town on the food now. And the barred rock is drinking and eating. Oh, good, 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 good. And then this one's going over there, maybe get a drink. Now that I'm out here though, all of that really loud chirping has stopped. So these things are manipulative, like a little toddler. I'm just gonna cry and cry and cry. And as soon as you come out here and start talking, I'm happy again. Because obviously when I'm recording, I'm talking. And when I'm not recording, I'm talking to them as well. Well, my goodness, nobody told me about that. So I am very happy. Three hours in, they are all eating. They have all been drinking and uh, sleeping a bit too. Although, oh my God, it is so hot out here. I am fried. Oh my God, how can you guys stand it? But they're loving it. They're obviously not in distress. They're not huddled and they're not, you know, trying to escape the heat. is a tough cookie. Look at her. She's, she's looking up at me, looking at the top of the coop. Coop box. How can I get out of here? Yeah, I'm talking about you. I don't know if the, cat, the camera's catching it as much as when I'm watching, but she's, look at that. She's just stretching her neck up as far as she can to see out. As far as I know, no one else has gotten up there. I've only seen the black star up there, but I do have two of them. You're gonna hurt yourself. Take it easy, lady. Good grief, man. You drink all the water. No one's else gonna have any. Yes, I have more water. <laughs> I have more water for them. It's in a gallon jug. It's got some electrolytes in it. And this is a giant box, so I can actually, what I'll do is I'll take these sides and I will prop them up and tape them, you see? So it'll get even taller as they get bigger. And the square footage in here is supposed to be correct for five chickens as they get bigger. Oh, jogging. Hey gals, how's it going? Believe it or not, it's been eight hours here in the Phoenix Jira garage. And the Plymouth rocks are much more active than they were before. Woof, obviously. <laughs> and one of the two black stars, I believe it's just one of them, is the one that goes on and on and on about wanting to get out of here. Gets up on the heater, has tried to jump onto the water container. <laughs> Luckily she can't yet, she's literally too small, but she can get up on that heater. But when she starts to walk around, when she, uh, when I first come in sometimes, she's, her head is like almost, it's so, she gets as like an ostrich. She's like trying to get up and then she runs over everybody who um, they don't appreciate that very much. I have turned off the, the brooder heater a couple of times because to me, of course, it's super hot in here. It's crazy hot. 
they seem pretty good, but when I did turn it off, I found them over here huddled together, and I'm like, uh-oh. I mean, it wasn't cold. It was still 85 in here, um, as the, the thermometers all indicate. So I turned it back on again, and so then it was 95 underneath there, and I'm like, holy cow. And they didn't seem to want to be under it anymore. It was like too hot. But the temperature is going to drop tonight to about um, 50 or 60, I don't recall now. So they will definitely want that heater on as the night progresses. And I may turn on the uh, heat lamp, that I'm not sure. But like I said, over the next few weeks, it's going to get colder and colder and colder. So I'm glad I have all of these ways to provide heat for them. They are all enjoying their food. And one of them, now they have the little swollen part there on their neck. I'm like, uh, I think she's full. Either that or she's got a growth. Hmm, I guess we'll find out. But they just keep eating and eating and eating. And earlier, one of them just kind of let out a nice little farty poop. I mean, I'm not kidding you, I heard it. I was like, really? <laughs> you can my birds poop, obviously, but they also fart. Mm-hmm, they pass gas. See what I mean? She just thinks she can get up there any old time she wants. She's checking out the temperature. Now she's gonna fall. Curious how many times she gets up there when I'm not in the room. I'm also curious if anyone else has gotten up there. She might be the leader of the pack. She might be like, I'm higher than you guys. Oh, plop. See what I mean? And she's looking around. She's like, I gotta get out of here. Let me eat some more, get this gullet, or whatever it's called, full. What are you gals doing, hmm? You're kind of eyeballing it too. I have this dowel in here, just not that they're gonna do anything with it, but they might, I see a couple stand on it, not for long. It's kind of big, I know, but gives them a little something else besides just what's in here. Oh, there she goes again. There she is. If I can figure out how to identify her from the other one. Look at her, see? She's like, I gotta get out of here, man. There she is. Gotta be a way out. Let's see, she tries to jump on that. Oh my gosh, you little turkey. Oh man. <laughs> oh wow, I might have to raise up these, the wall on here sooner than I thought and put a cover over it. I have a cover, but I honestly didn't think it would be necessary yet. All right, the identification of the two black star chicks has been determined. I took a really close look, and I don't know if I can show you in the camera, but you see this one right here? This one right here has a white beard, or a white bib, I should say, and she has a freckle on the side of her face, a white freckle on the left side of her face. This one is completely black so far. So there is a difference between these two and I can very easily, I don't know why I didn't notice it before, I guess I was too busy looking at how cute and fluffy they were, but I can, identif I can identify these two now. Okay, she really wants out, or she really wants at me, or both. I don't know, I don't know yet. <laughs> But when I have put my hand down there before, she then tries to jump on it. See? I guess you can't see. See? And then she tries to get up higher. So 
So maybe she's using me as a um, <laughs> an elevator. <laughs> I don't know. babies are cuddling up to a very warm hand. <laughs> the Spitfire really likes it. Yes, Spitfire. Here's more guys going to come over here. Going to have to figure out a really good name for parkour chicky. This little chick is the one that has a bump right here. I don't know what that's all about. Let's see. Get a little closer. No, of course not. Yeah. She's kind of her chest is bulged out on one side versus the other. This <laughs> pair is like. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm liking this. But yes, that was. Parkour chick. Okay, where would he go? Right? She's like, now she. See what she's doing? She. She's trying to get underneath the other chicks. I think that's what she's trying to do to get warm. Right. Just to get underneath them. I mean, it's not cold in here and I've got the heater on, but that's just something that she's done, doing. She's like. <laughs> so I just heat up my hand. That's it. Get a really nice and toasty warm. Like, oh, oh, there's a lot of water right there. <laughs> wow. Don't let them pile on top of each other. I don't think they are, but no. when you have lots of chicks in a box this size and they all huddle together, sometimes one will get suffocated. But there's just the five, so I think it's okay. But they're definitely... <laughs> Yeah, they liked that. It is getting a little cooler in the garage. I mean, it's still hot to me, but... And I have the brooder on, heating back up again. It's already to 85, so I think that's going to be good under there. I'm going to check it again in about an hour. Oh, look at them. Hey! Don't be like that. Don't be pecking her eyes out. Hey. Okay, we're gonna have to have somebody put into timeout. Mm -hmm.